Let's say we're asked to solve the following equation. Square root of 7x plus 2 is equal to 4. We start by recognizing that in order to get rid of the square root on the left-hand side, we need to square both sides. So that's exactly what we do. When we do, the square and the square root, because they're inverse operations, cancel each other out, and we're left behind with just 7x plus 2 on the left-hand side. 4 squared on the right gives us 16. At this stage, we should have a very nice, easy linear equation that we can solve by subtracting the 2 over to the right-hand side. 16 minus 2 is going to give us 14. And at this stage, because the 7 and the x are being multiplied, we can divide both sides by 7 to yield 14 over 7, or just 2. Now, one thing we need to be careful with is that because the index of the radical is even, we're looking at a square root in the given problem, we have to check our answer. What I mean by that is we need to take this number 2 and plug it into the given equation, not one that we created, but always the original equation, and see if we get a true statement at the end. So square root of 7 times 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. That's a question uh, that we have to answer. 7 times 2 will give us 14. 14 plus 2 on the inside of the radical yields a 16. And we know that the square root of 16 is 4, so that yields a true statement. Since we got a true statement upon our check, we can say that x equals 2 is the solution to this equation.